All right, here we are in Kissimmee with Hooks President Ken Schramm, of course, who did this many, many times. Many times. When he came up as a minor leaguer in the system Youngster. of the California Angels and then the Anaheim Angels and on in the big leagues with a number of teams. When you come back here to spring training and you're watching minor league guys, what kind of memories does it bring back for you? Makes me want to throw. Yeah. I, I, you still I, think you can get guys out. <laughs> I don't know about that, but it's fun to go over and watch. I just watched B Bud Norris's bullpen and, you know, watching him throw the ball. And, and he's such a free spirit anyway. It's mm -hmm. just, you know, he's having a ball. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's that's the way I I, always, I love to throw. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had a... Had a great time. Spring training was always a fun time. Your your club's in first place, you know, mm -hmm. and so it's a, it's a special. It was always a special time. Now I heard a story earlier today that when you were with the Twins in spring training, that one of your rituals was starting out the day by running in the morning. That couldn't have been awful fun for you. That wasn't my favorite <laughs> memory. Um, yeah, one year I don't know why uh, our strength and conditioning guy just decided that as soon as we all got there, we were going to run for about 20, 25 minutes and. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you know what? It, it, it only lasted five or six days, so uh -huh. we, we got through it. All right. Now, having been a major league pitcher uh, with the Twins and the Indians and the, the Toronto Blue Jays, when you come to spring training, do you gravitate to talking with fellow pitchers, or do you go over and you chat with the hitters? You know, both. Um, you know, we, we when we got here this morning, you know, we always stop in the minor league office and mm -hmm. see Ricky Bennett and Dick Scott, who's their new field coordinator. So caught up with those guys. But then once I get out here, I mean, it's fun to, you know, if you can catch a pitcher and just go watch him and then talk to him. And I, I'm all over the place, yeah. just like you are. Yeah. But you have a little more clout than I do. <laughs> I don't know about that. You got the microphone. <laughs> Um, that's another thing, too, about every time you come to spring training. Now, obviously, the, they're going to have inter-squad games here today while the big club plays against the Boston Red Sox. But when you get back into the baseball circles and you bump into people from other clubs, you always bump into somebody you know. It's a great fraternity. Yeah. You know, there's, you know how that is. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, we'll run into somebody, uh, you know, with the Red Sox today. I'm sure that, that, uh, that I know from somewhere, and and you will too. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've both been in the game a long time, mm -hmm. and and you run into folks. It's always fun to catch up. That's that's the neat thing about this game. All right. If somebody is watching and they've never been to spring training, what's the one piece of advice you'd give them if they are sort of on the fence about whether or not to go to spring training? What's What one piece of sage advice from Ken Trom would you give someone? As you're walking in the open areas and you hear heads up, mm -hmm. don't look up. <laughs> <laughs> Cover your head. That's the best advice. I don't know how many times I've seen people get conked. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, somebody will yell, heads up, mm -hmm. and people look up and they take one in the in the coconut. It's you know, so. so that's my best piece of advice. So no sunscreen, no GPS kind oh, of no, advice. No. Just watch, have all that listen too. for heads up. Listen for heads up. All right, that's it from Hooks President Ken Trom.